Hello everyone, welcome back to another Bob Ross painting tutorial. Today I'll be painting the Northern Lights for you on my Elsa cosplay. So this is the back half of the skirt. If you haven't already seen the first part where I do the front half of the skirt, check that out. That was, that was something. So I am back, I am back to do another tutorial on my Elsa dress. And this time with a bigger skirt, more experience, and lower expectations. So let's start out and have them run all the colors across the screen. While they're doing that, let me show you what I got going on up here. I have my standard old canvas up here, and I've taken a little piece of contact paper, cut an oval, stuck it on, then we've painted the inside with black gesso. As I feared, I'm gonna have to do what I did for the front half of the skirt, and I'm gonna have to cover the whole thing with the black with the blues and greens and a purple and sparkles, which honestly, it's for the best because then it matches the front of the skirt and I'm already this deep, I might as well do it all over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix the paints and then cover the whole skirt with the black. And we've taken blotches of color <laughs> and just went here and there. Every, every series needs a crazy day and I guess this is it. We've taken a little red here and a little phthalo green, a little blue. And I've just put them together. The bottom I've just covered with phthalo blue. So we've got red, phthalo green, phthalo blue. That's all. Okay, so this is our black canvas now. I was using all the same paints. These are all tulip fabric paints. But I did not realize how big the back of the skirt was. So I actually went through almost two entire bottles of fabric paint just to cover this. We'll start out, take the fan brush, and I'm just tapping a little white paint right on top of all the color that we have here. All right, and you just sort of figure out where they are. We just make our little bits of color and then we'll take and we'll begin lifting that up. So what Bob Ross does is he just like pulls it up and with how acrylics work, it will pick up the colors in the background and put it into the Northern Lights. That doesn't work with fabric paint, I'm smarter now. So what I'm gonna do is what I did for the front of the skirt and that is to just lay down green, purple, and blue into the Northern Lights and then pull that up. Just lift it up and that's simple. That's simple. We have instant Northern Lights. In the back here, let's just start building some things. So in Bob Ross's painting, it was like three separate Northern Lights kind of meeting in the center. And uh, here it has become this like blob of Northern Lights. So I'm just gonna move on because at this point, like, what am I gonna do? Like, what am I gonna do? It's there. Now, we have to make our first major decisions. Maybe there's some little trees that live back here. I'm not even gonna put a mountain in this today. If you watch the first part, you're where my trees are really bad. But at least now I have lower expectations and like I can just make these trees and be okay with their ugliness and love them anyways. Why not? <laughs> there. All right. We'll just put a, a whole bunch of little trees back here. See how easy they are? This will give you some practice making little trees. Take the corner of the brush, work back and forth, forth and back. Trees! And there's some right here, so you can see right through them and see the lights behind them. There. All right. Maybe one more little tree right there. So Bob Ross kept painting trees, so I keep painting trees. My craft room is not big enough for this whole skirt, which is why I have to lay down to be in frame. I'm doing my best. So, more trees. They're happy though. They're happy trees. Happy little trees. And let's just indicate a few highlights. I don't want a lot. I don't want a lot. Look at the trees. So many. So I extended it so I went from all the way from one side of the skirt to the other. I added a whole lot more trees and I did the highlights. So what's next, Bob Ross? I've made so many trees. Let's have some fun. And maybe... You see the northern lights mostly in the winter time. And there's a very 
<laughs> Very easy reason for that. In the summertime, it doesn't get dark, so you couldn't see them. They're probably there. I want a little cabin out here. Shoot, I've always wanted a little cabin in Alaska. I'm not going to be painting the shack, same as with the front skirt. I felt like it didn't really fit with like the Elsa cosplay, so I'm tossing out the shack. I'm sorry I'm not following this tutorial. I'm... I was never following this tutorial. I'm painting on a skirt, and an Elsa skirt. This is not what Bob Ross intended. All right, maybe in our world there lives a, a tree right there on that little hill. More trees! <laughs> and we could make a little grassy area. Shoot, who knows, maybe there's one over here on this side too. Just something around the little cabin. And let's go back up in here, and we'll highlight this little rascal. Now, now he stands out. Now he stands out. And if we can take that, and we'll just put in a few little sticks and twigs and all those little things that live back here against the tree. I want to turn this into water. Maybe there's a little pond here. There's no pond for me. There's no space. There is Straight no... Down. Straight down something like it and then go across. There's no shack. No pond, no reflection in the water. <laughs> but for what I lack in tutorial accuracy, I definitely more than make up for in tree quantity. So this has been quite the journey. Thank you for sticking with me throughout it. I'm gonna put this dress together and see how it looks and uh we'll see but this this has been uh, it's been something that's for sure here is my northern lights part two second skirt uh <laughs> happy painting